Hey guys, we're here from Windows Edge, and today we're going to be showing you a review of Purple Cherry, an emulator for your Windows Phone. And as I was saying, Purple Cherry is an emulator of Game Boy Color games. For those of you familiar with emulators, you'll understand exactly what this is going to do. And for those of you who aren't, an emulator essentially allows you to play games from retro consoles, such as the Game Boy Color, original Game Boy... Super Nintendo, original Nintendo, etc, etc. Essentially, it allows you to play these games without actually having to have the devices, which is a great, and in this situation, a very convenient thing to have. So here from the main menu, you can see you're going to have a very large array of settings for what you're doing, from the orientation of it to sound, which is available fully in the non-trial version. From SkyDrive, you can sign into your SkyDrive so that you can download your ROMs onto your SkyDrive and then import them in from there. It's from the built-in game. So we're going to show you guys just the basics of importing stuff in. From here, like I was saying, you can download stuff onto your SkyDrive and then import it in from there. And then you can also do it from a URL specifically. And then also just from here, this is one of my favorite features you can do. You can just go in here and just you know search for a game. Stereotypically, we're gonna do Mario since it's the Game Boy. You can just see all these different options here that you have for the for, for the Game Boy Color, and we're going to choose Mario and Yoshi. So you can see all the information about the game here: size, ratings, and then ultimately down here you have the download now option when you do that and voila your app has been downloaded here under choose and play you can see all the different games that you have downloaded and scroll through them in all these different ways and so we're just kinda gotta jump in and show you guys a a brief showing of the gameplay and the functionality of this just to kinda give you an idea of it show you a brief this. So as you can see, the layout is very loyal to what the original Game Boy did look like, which is kind of cool. It makes you feel like you're playing your old Game Boy all over again. Uh, the buttons are very, they are very operational. It's nothing like pushing the real buttons, but it definitely gives you that simulated sense of uh, enjoyment. And as you can see, I mean, they all, they all do work very well from there. There's no real problems. The only Buttons I've had a few troubles with are pushing the start and select buttons, but those are minor issues and probably my own fault. So you can see the games do, they run at a great frame rate. There's no real issues with that. And really, I mean, there's no complaints from you know, a game standpoint. I mean, these games weren't huge files, so it's imaginable that our new phones almost 20 years later can run them fairly well. Really shouldn't surprise you, but I mean, as you can see, it all the buttons work really well. You also have the option from in here to push the reset button and it pulls up all this little stuff you can do. You can save your states, quit, reload, cancel. You can also just refresh from all this other stuff. It just gives you a good array of options. You can also back up all of your apps onto your SkyDrive. And then you can also use cheats from Game Genie or Game Shark if you guys find that kind of stuff to be fun and you can also pin any of these to start so as you can see there's a big array of options for you here on this purple cherry app and the app is currently running for 129 in the app store with a trial version available but the trial version does not have a lot of the critical features of the app so we'd encourage you guys to just get the regular version support the developers and what they're doing to pull this here and once again it's only a dollar twenty nine and it brings you a good accurate representation of uh, playing those old Game Boy Color games that we all loved. So we would encourage you guys to get out there and get it and keep an eye out for more content coming to you from Windows Edge. Thanks guys.